Have you ever wondered what would happen if mankind disappeared overnight? Today, we are going to take a look at this not so crazy scenario and find out what would happen to our bit of planet if we disappear in the blink of an eye. Perhaps after a meteor party from outer space or after two leaders have played with nuclear bombs. Who knows? Just imagine, suddenly, there are no humans in sight. You may not have realized it yet, but we are talking about a total absence of cars on the road beeping and polluting as usual. Living in the middle of city, I know what I'm talking about. Now, would there be children in schools, people dancing in the streets to TikTok videos or taking photos of their food in restaurants? It might be hard to imagine, but the truth is we have seen it before. Remember the images of different cities during the 2020 pandemic. Venice's ocean canals and water so clear and crystal clear you could see fish and marine life. The skies of major capitals as clear and limpid as if we were in the middle of a forest. When life begins, there is no stopping it. We also saw what happens to abandoned cities after a disaster. For example, in Pripyat, the town where the Chernobyl nuclear reactor exploded, you'd think that after a nuclear disaster, there'd be no life left. But videos from adventurous influencers have shown us that this is not so the case. Nature has reclaimed what belonged to it what humans had taken from it. Let's discover what would happen to our bit of planet Earth if all humans disappeared overnight. Thanks to our experiments, we know what would happen if we humans were to disappear. First of all, nature would go into carnage mode, a bit like Leroy Jenkins. White plants and animals would begin to warm our streets as if they'd never been chased away. Once the humans were gone, nature would begin to reclaim its territory. Plants would begin to grow between the cracks in the concrete, building would be covered in moss. But wait, there is more. The disappearance of man also means much less pollution. Rivers are brighter, the air is fresher and even the birds start to sing with more gusto. Yeah, I'm exaggerating a bit, but you get the idea. The disappearance of men would have an immediate impact on the environment. Air and water, pollution would begin to diminish, allowing ecosystems to recover. The oceans would gradually be cleared of plastics and debris, and populations of endangered species would have a chance to recover. Once all industrial and polluting processes had been altered, the sky would be bluer and the wind and rain would eliminate, eliminate the clouds of pollution. Without humans, factories and cars, the earth would be a much more visible place. Just ask the people of Laos, Pakistan. We don't think much about natural disasters, which happen with or without our help, but fires are a special problem. With more vegetation, fires would be more frequent. You're probably wondering what might be the cause Firstly, our own waste, because we have disappeared, but unless we have been abducted by aliens with all the garbage that went with it, the glass remains would remain, producing the magnifying glass effect and causing fires. Worst of all, all these fires could not be extinguished by humans, so they would end in new land extensions. In short, our heritage would somehow outlive us. After a nuclear catastrophe or epidemic has wiped out our existence, the first to rejoice would be the wild animals. First of all, the smaller ones, such as birds, rats, opossums and beavers, would invade our cities. Of course, we already know that many of them do this even if we live in them, in New York for example, but now they would do so without anyone disturbing them. Then, it would be the turn of large animals, such as deer or bears who might be slower to approach us, but who would eventually do so. So, they would no longer be limited by anything, so much as exploring the isolated lands near us and finally discovering if the grass isn't greener in the neighbor's property. The same would apply to insects and mosquitoes. But what about our cats, dogs, hamsters and other pets? Well, let me tell you, most of them will be easy prey and caramel with an overweight condition that hasn't moved from the sofa in 4 years isn't going to be able to do much after her masters disappear. It's time to ask ourselves what would become of our buildings. Our homes will start to look a little, how can I put this, vintage. Skyscrapers will become the trees of the future. Bridges, giant toboggans and streets run away for lawless animals. 
water and electricity systems require constant pumping, which would not be easy without humans. The same applies to power plants. What's more, the water in the pipes could freeze in some regions during the winter, causing them to burst. This would cause flooding and certainly create new lakes and rivers. Places like nuclear power plants, which are no longer under control, would deteriorate over time and with cracking and many more. Chernobyl and Fukushima would arrive here and there. It's certain that some landscapes would recen post-apocalyptic landscapes. Other constructions do not suffer the same fate. For example, bridges or structures made of metal pillars would slowly rust, eventually returning to the earth. Downs, meanwhile, would gradually erode. Rivers and lakes displaced by man would return to their original course, with the result that many towns and villages would disappear underwater. It sounds sad, but when we leave this planet, nature and life will take their course. Unfortunately, or rather fortunately, everything takes its place and life goes on. The Earth will regenerate without us, but perhaps in the not too distant future. Civilization will find a thin layer of plastic, radioactive isotopes and chicken bones under a few meters of Earth with a fossil. If humanity were to disappear overnight, many things would disappear with it, but some traces would remain on the Earth for tens millions of years. It will be the case for consumed plastics, roads, ruins, art, culture and space artifacts. As for plastic, microbes could evolve sufficiently to consume it and disappear. This would be the case for roads and ruins, which would be visible for thousands of years, but would eventually disappear under natural forces. Art, meanwhile, is said to be one of the last traces of man's passage on Earth. Pottery, bronze statues and monuments such as Mount Rushmore, on which the faces of four American presidents are engraved, would be the most enduring legacies. Part of Earth's culture could also be recovered, as many transmissions made by Earth via magnetic waves would continue to exist in space. These waves would be recognizable for millions of years, until they weaken enough to become indistinguishable. Finally, some space artifacts would continue to function despite the extinction of the human species. Such in the case of the Voyager probes, launched in 1977, which continue to leave the solar system at a speed of nearly 60,000 km by hour. Similarly, our artificial satellites and space debris would remain in orbit for decades. Perhaps, in the end, a superior intelligence would discover a Voyager probe and decide to pay us a little visit. But by the time they reached us, they discover a world quite different from the one they could have foreseen. Earth could continue to exist peacefully without humans. Fauna and flora would continue to thrive, and man's traces on the planet would fade away much sooner than we think. Cities, bridges, buildings, monuments, railway stations and other human inventions would fall, while field and outdoor life would flourish. In short, the disappearance of man could be like the end of a great and beautiful period, a little sad but also the beginning of something new and exciting. Earth finally has a chance to shine on its own, and who knows what crazy things could happen in this new post-human era. I hope you liked this video, in all cases see you next Friday on this same channel, bye bye!